Welcome to the Unity Terrain Basics series. In this video, we're going to look at how to export a terrain and import it in another project. Thank you so much, Chris, for your awesome topic suggestion. Let's begin. The terrain tiles that we created using the terrain system are actually stored as terrain data files. Whenever we create a new terrain tile, it's going to generate a new terrain data file in a project directory. Say if we pick one of these data file and we just drag them into a scene, it's going to create a new instance of this tile. By using the same technique, we'll be able to export this terrain tile and import it to another project. Let's try to do that. We first select this directory and let's just pick the asset file and now we're going to import it to another Unity project. Here we can just drag it inside the scene. But as we can see, this tile only contains the shape but not the textures, layers, and the trees and details. That is because we haven't imported any of those assets into this project. So I would not recommend using this method. The other method will be to use a height map. We can go to the fifth tab in the terrain component, scrolling down until we see terrain resolutions on terrain data. And here we can choose the height map resolution. We will leave them as default. Down here we can see two buttons, import raw and export raw. The raw is simply a data file similar to the terrain data, and it contains the vertex data that defines the shape. We just hit this button and we can select some of these data options. I'll leave them as default. Using the export button, we will be able to export this terrain tile as a raw file. After that, we go to our another project. Right here, we have to create a new terrain ourselves. And in the same section, we use the import raw option and choosing our raw image. We may have to adjust these options to match our export settings. We can also define the terrain size, that means the scale of this terrain. I'll leave all of these by default. And after clicking the Imports button, the shape is here. But still, this method does not include all the details, textures, trees, etc. So I still don't recommend this second method. But if you only want a shape, then it is a good and efficient way to quickly share the shape of the terrain across multiple projects. Finally, let's look at the method that I recommend. That is to use prefabs. To do this, we simply select the terrain group that we created from the very beginning, drag it directly into the projects tab. This will create a prefab of this group object. And now we just click on this prefab file and hit export package. We are making use of the Unity package feature and as we can see, there are so many items being included, so many assets, including the terrain data, the prefab, the scripts, the trees, rocks, textures, etc. And they're all bundled up into this package. Using the export button, we can save it as a package. After that, we go to our new project. This time we go to the project tab. 
right click, hit import package custom package. Then we choose the package that we just exported. Now all of the related assets including the scripts, grass, trees, rocks, other details and textures will all be included. With the assets properly imported, it is like magic. We just click on the terrain group prefab and drag it directly into the scene. And there we have successfully transferred our terrain with all of the settings, scripts, textures, etc. from our old project to this new project. And the best part is, we can still adjust everything, and the scripts will still work. This is the recommended method, using the Unity Package feature. This is the end of this video, as well as the Unity Terrain Basics series. Thank you so much for all of your support. If there are any topics that you wish me to cover, please let me know down in the comments section. I will try my best to serve content for all of you. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next series. I'm Yellow Flicker. stay tuned.